What's up, everybody? This is Dr. Zeb, your everyday life coach, and thank you uh, for tuning in to this powerful video. My job is simple. It's to give you life tools that will help you transform tomorrow today. So I'm sitting uh, in the car <laughs> in this long car rider's line, um, and my kids don't get out for another 40 minutes and I'm all the way in the back of the line. Uh, it's been insanity since school started back. So I thought to myself, I'm sitting here, there's no need of wasting all of this good time where I could actually be sharing some content. Yeah, it's not in a nice studio, I don't have great lighting, I'm sitting in my car, but I did want to share this video. So before I do, do me a favor, if you haven't already, make sure you like our channel, subscribe to our channel, hit that little bell button, and notification icon, whatever so you can be notified of upcoming um, uh, content that we release uh, because we don't want you to miss it. Now, I want to get right into this uh, right away and I want to take a couple of minutes and say this to all of you. This video is especially for people who are into people pleasing. Um, you have to stop abandoning yourself. Every time you people please, or position yourself to try to please other people in any way, you are giving up who you are at the disposal of becoming what everybody else wants you to become or doing what everybody else wants you to do. And um, there is nothing productive or authentic or genuine about a people pleaser. In fact, you can't even claim to be genuine or authentic if you spend a lot of time trying to please other people. It's a lie. You're only authentic and genuine and true to, to, to who you are for real when you learn how to put yourself first. And this is something that honestly, um, I had to do a lot of self-reflection on myself because I thought I was authentic and genuine, you know, years ago. I, I don't, I haven't had this issue in many years. Um, I'm proud to say that because it, it took work, but especially when I was younger, you know, I, I would say I was authentic and genuine, but I spent a lot of my time trying to please other people and making decisions based off of what other people thought, making moves based off of what other people wanted. Until one day the light just kind of came off, you know, I'd probably reach my goals a lot faster and, and be happier actually faster when I start pleasing myself. And I went through some situations this last year that really was a reminder of that. And that is, you know, sometimes the fastest goal to happiness is to stop people pleasing. Now, I know that doesn't, that seems counterintuitive because you've been people pleasing and you've been making other people happy and there's been no drama or no tension. Why? Because typically when we people please, we're taking the safe route. So anytime you people please, you are taking the safest route to no drama, to no friction, to no tension. And as long as there's no tension around you, you think, hey, everything is safe. As long as there's no friction around you, you think everything's good. The problem is there's no friction, there's no tension at the expense of your own happiness. And so when you put your happiness to the side to people please, you've made them happy and you've satisfied them but at the same time, you're not satisfied. You're not happy. You're not pleased. So you can't claim authenticity when you don't even put yourself first. Again, you can't even claim authenticity. You can't claim being genuine. You can't claim being real. You don't even put yourself first. And uh, that's something that hit me a couple of years ago. And, uh, ago. and, and again, I just had some challenges this la last year where I was really put to the test and I'm grateful that I chose the route of choosing me. And this is important. Anytime you people please, you abandon yourself. Anytime you people please, you are abandoning yourself. You are in essence choosing other people, choosing other things, you're choosing everything else but yourself. Stop people pleasing. Stop putting yourself in a position where you throw away what you want, what you're interested in, what your desires are, 
at the expense of making other people comfortable. Now you're gonna know you hit a sweet spot. Uh, let me just tell you, you're gonna you're gonna really know you hit a a sweet spot in this non people pleasing space when your happiness becomes more important than their opinion. When your happiness becomes more important than their opinion, you're in the sweet spot. You're in the people, you're in the, the, the authenticity, the genuine self-care sweet spot. When you start making decisions and you say, you know what? I'm not gonna give up my happiness just so they can be comfortable. I'm not gonna give up um, my joy just so they can be okay. I'm not going to not pursue this just so that they can like it. Or I'm not going to remain in this toxic or bad situation just so people won't talk about me. No. When you stop people pleasing. My good ties crooked. When you stop people pleasing and you start making decisions with your happiness in mind, that is the epitome of self-care. You know, self-care is, is such a, a buzzword now. Everybody's talking about self-care, especially this virtual environment that we're in. Everybody's talking about self-care, and it's a very sexy, sexy thing to talk about. But here's the reality. There is no such thing as self-care when you put other people first. You know, that's mental self-care. That's emotional self-care. That's physical self-care. Psychological self-care. It's whatever self-care. If you are not putting yourself first and your happiness first, then there's no such thing as self-care. You're not operating in self-care and you're not being genuine or authentic when you say that you are. You're not. You have to learn how to put yourself um, first. And here's an easy way you can do it. This is an easy exercise. If there's a problem that comes your way, there's a decision that has to be made. If, if a situation is going on, there's tension, there's drama, there's stress. The situation going on, you've got to make a decision. First thing you ought to do is write down the problem. Write down the problem. Write down the situation, what's going on. Y'all see how I dropped my phone? I'm not editing that out. This is a good video. <laughs> Write down the issue, the situation, the problem. It's the first thing I want you to do. And then after you write down the problem, just write down the problem uh, on the top of the, sheet of the sheet of paper. And then on the left side, I want you to write two things. Does it belong to me? Line in the middle, right side. Does it belong to somebody else? And write down all the reasons why you think it belongs to you on the left side. And write down all the reasons why you think it belongs to somebody else on the right side. And it's simple. If the it belongs to me side is longer than the it belongs to somebody else side, then it's yours. You own it. You deal with it. You handle it. You make the decision based on you. If it belongs to somebody else, if the issue or the challenge is really not a you problem, but the it belongs to somebody else side is longer than the it belongs to me side, then it's not your obligation to solve that problem. All right, so you've got the problem, and if the reasons why it belongs to somebody else is greater than the reasons it belongs to you, then why are you trying to solve other people's problems? And that creates a lot of stress for us. Some of us have been stressed out because we have tried to complete and tried to fix other people's problems. You gotta stop fixing other people's problems. Um, I get it. I know what it's like to be a natural born fixer. You want things to be fixed. You want things to be right. You want people to be happy. You want people to be successful. You want people to have this. You want people to be okay. You want people to be uncomfortable. But listen, you got to stop carrying stuff that don't belong to you. If it doesn't belong to you, you're people pleasing. And you're carrying it, you're people pleasing. If it doesn't belong to you and you're walking around with it, you're people pleasing. Write down the issue. What is the problem? And then ask yourself, these are the reasons it belongs to me, but these are the reasons that this problem belongs to somebody else. And I'm telling you, if the reasons it belongs to somebody else is greater than the reasons it belongs to you, you gotta let it go. Give it back to people, let them figure out their own problems. Uh, and this is the essence, again, of moving to a place where you stop abandoning you in an effort to please other people. I hope this video helped you, do me a favor like this video. I actually enjoy doing this from the car. I may do more of these uh, because it's easier and I'm not wasting time. <laughs> um, but like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I am taking, still taking new coaching clients. I've had a little boost here over the last couple of weeks. So I've been very busy. Uh, but if you need um, personal, professional career coaching, just go to my website, zebthethird.com and you can get information. 
and be happy to evaluate your situation to see how we can help. All right. I appreciate you guys. Remember, you got two jobs. One, I want you to be better today than what you were yesterday. And two, don't forget what I told you. Now, go after it. Oh, I can't have, I'll just get it.